So we've covered the fact that the guitar is a rhythm instrument and part of the rhythm section. But, of course, um, improvising on the guitar with single note lines is uh, equally as an important uh, a job for the instrument. And uh, I always like to think of the guitar as a horn, uh, mainly because my favorite soloists and instrumentalists are horn players. Uh, my favorite is Miles Davis. But I also really love uh, the saxophone playing of Macy O. Parker, uh, King Curtis, and Junior Walker. And um, I fell in love with all those saxophone players and, and Miles as well at a very young age. And I've always been trying to imitate them on the guitar. And honestly, when, I, when I'm improvising, I'm thinking about being a horn most of the time. Uh, and part of the advantage of that uh, for phrasing is because essentially horn players have to breathe. They have to take a breath and then blow and unless they're doing circular breathing. So um, when you do that on the guitar, it gives you an ex a distinct advantage to be able to actually play phrases, to stop and let a note or a phrase have impact and then start again. Um, so basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk some more about getting this real horn phrasing, especially in the style of Macy o. Parker or Pee Wee Ellis or St. Clair Pickney, the guys who played with James Brown, um, trying to get their sound um, on the guitar. And of course, that's very part and parcel to, to King Curtis and Junior Walker. They're all sort of from the same school uh, of playing. It's very rhythmic. It's very on the one. It's very funky. And um, as a guitar player, you know, I've found a lot of times when guitar players start playing stuff that's funky, along the lines of James Brown or, you know, Parliament Funkadelic or, you know, anything that's sort of that early 70s funk uh, all the way through, you know, Stevie Wonder and Prince even. Um, guitar players, when they play lead guitar, they tend to sort of step on a wah-wah pedal or a distortion pedal and play things that may sound more like Jimi Hendrix. Um, but actually, uh, the guitar, and of course, someone like Grant Green, uh, who we're going to talk about as well today, um, can be really funky as a single note instrument as well. And people like Grant Green and Jimmy Nolan, um, you know, they're excellent examples of guys who really use the guitar as a rhythm and lead instrument at the same time, essentially, by playing these rhythmic lines that we associate with people like Maceo Parker, but on single note guitar lines. So I'm going to de demonstrate some of those in the key of E flat uh, that just happens to be the track we have here today for me to play with as an E flat. But it's a great key for this because a lot of the tracks of James Brown and, of course, eventually Grant Green, they play in flat keys quite often. 